Hey guys, welcome to Link Tutorial Series. I'm Ripon Dutto. Today I'm gonna discuss about Link Syntax Fundamentals. So, with Microsoft Language Integrated Query, you can query and manage sequences of items, such as objects, entities, database records, XML nodes, and so on, within your software solutions using a common syntax and a unique programming language. The key feature of Link is its integration with widely used programming languages and integration made possible by the use of a syntax common to all kinds of content. Link queries. Link is based on a set of query operators defined as extension methods and that work with any object that implements the i enumerable or i queryable interface. This approach makes Link a general purpose querying framework because many collections and types implement i enumerable or i queryable and developers can define their own implementations. So uh, let us start with a simple example let's say uh, we need to query an array of objects of a developer type by using link to objects so we can extract the names of the developers who use Microsoft Visual C Sharp as their main programming language so let's get started with Visual Studio alright take a new project let's say link part 2 in this series of tutorials I'm, I'm always using console application but you can use this in your own application it can be desktop based application I mean WPF or ASP.NET MVC or wherever you want Okay. And one thing I like to say you that um, we have to use using system dot link. This is the name space for link. All right. So first of all, I want to create a class. Let's say developer have some property ID name property string let's say language and another property which is age so first of all I need to have a list of developer developers equal new list of developers in which we have a list of employee so first developer is let's say id equal 1 name equal frank hanna language let's say c sharp ace equal 35 similarly we may have few more developers so id 2 Smith BB thirty nine so ID three Greg Shaw is using C sharp let's say A is forty two 
and let's say we have another developer let's say open data is using C sharp a is, is 28 alright so this is the list of developers now we want to have a query I want to create a query let's say um C sharp developers equal so from D in developers list where D dot language equal C sharp select let's say D so in this case I am selecting the whole I mean whole object but you can specify let's say name so in this case it will return only the developers name but if you want to get the whole developer object on the time you have to select only the D or developer so I need to show the developers let's say where um, in this case I'm using let's say DE in C sharp developers control console right DE dot name so I can specify that name equal this one then yep let's say ace dot ace so this is the link query a simple link query so run the project control f5 yep as you can see name frank hanna c sharp craig so then ripon dotto but in this case will smith is not included because his language is different than c sharp now if you want to get only the name and ace except the whole object so in this case you have to use new keyword then d dot name and d dot ace this is the way how to get the selected field or selected you know property so run the project control f5 yes all right as you can see in this link query we have used three keyword from where select from a specifies the data source so in this case our data source is developers list where specifies the filtering condition you can see language equal C sharp and select specifies the shape of output so this query will return the name and age so I will go through this um, clause again and again in next tutorials so don't worry if you don't understand right now you have a lot of time to learn this so thank you very much for watching this tutorial if you like this tutorial don't forget to subscribe this channel so you see you soon in the next tutorial till then bye